Just wanted to show quickly how bright the lights are. Hi guys, I'm currently on my tour of about uh, 3,000 miles, 1,500 miles each way and I just wanted to show you what my bike looks like in touring trim. So let's start from over here. You see you have the highway pegs over here and uh, this is the latest uh, addition to the bike. So I have the Denali Daylight Running Lights, DRL, and then I have the Denali D2. And we'll go into detail at a later stage about this, but this is a system that I wanted to try to get done. So basically, these lights will always be on the bike. I just need to modify this to make it work and it'll be a permanently on the bike. These will only be added once I'm touring for better visibility. And uh, we'll test that out together on the highway once it gets dark so that you guys can see how effective these could be. So these will be added and there's a harness. So I actually bypassed, I didn't um, cut into any wires. I decided to bypass everything, get a harness, connect it directly to the battery and have a manual switch on the side. You'll see that this is where the switch is and it runs directly off of the battery. The bike doesn't have to be on to turn it on. The lights are on. And this is what they look like. And we'll test them out in the dark. Would you guys look how beautiful that is? So you see right now I'm overtaking. Visibility is actually quite poor. So check this out. Bam. You see that? Big difference. And it's not even dark yet. Wait till you guys see it when it's dark. And there positioned in such a way that they're not blinding the other drivers that are coming in the opposite direction. They're focused close to the bike in terms of the daylight running lights, so they're a floodlight if you want to think about it as a, a floodlight right next to the bike. I'm going to include a picture of just the daylight running lights at night so you guys can see how close up they light. Secondly, the D2s, which are called driving lights, I positioned them to where the actual stock light is. So it enhances, it magnifies that lumen value. If you take a look at the truck ahead, uh, I think that's the target truck, you see? Watch, watch for the high beam there, you see? That would blind somebody, this doesn't. Here's another demonstration of the new lights. I don't know if you can actually even see the bike's uh, OEM headlight, but check this out. Do you see the difference? Okay, for the new riders, riding at night, it gets complicated. Your priority is your safety, and safety equals visibility. Make sure that you are as visible as possible to other traffic. In addition, you need lights to be able to see where you're going. Now, all motorcycles have lights that are lacking. As you can see, this is the OEM light of the Rebel. As you can see, it's moving. There's a lot of dark areas. When you're standing still, it's not that bad. However, when you're moving, when you're riding, when you're turning, if let's say you're turning to the left, you're not turning the actual bars when you're turning to the left. You're leaning, so you're leaning into complete darkness. So you want to keep that in mind. Additionally, you have to keep in mind your visibility at night from the rear. So for traffic from behind you. So the way that I did it is I added these auxiliary lights that flash. They're very small, USB rechargeable. They're waterproof. They're tiny. I'll include the link if you guys are interested. But anything to catch the attention of the person behind you. In addition, when you are coming to a stop, always pulse your front brake or rear brake, but 
you know make sure that your brake light is activated because you want to catch the person's attention that's behind you sometimes they're not paying attention it's important to make sure you are visible it's your responsibility be safe additionally what i like to do if i'm all alone at a stop sign or stoplight and there are cars coming from behind me what i always do is i engage the hazard lights and I also pulsate the brake. That way it gives me much better chances of being seen when somebody is coming from behind and uh, not paying attention. Let's get to the lights in front. These are the driving lights as well as the daylight running lights. So I'm gonna turn them on so you guys can see the difference. So you see now the, the way the light pattern is, but before I do, I'm gonna show you the high beam. You see how it's a narrow, focused beam up ahead on that tree see that you don't see, it doesn't make any difference in terms of visibility to your peripheral so to the right and to the left it doesn't make any difference it allows you to see further ahead which is great but it's not super bright and it does not affect visibility to your peripheral or close up so you can see road debris or anything like that now let's take a look at the lights and how effective they can be do you see the difference? Remember all the dark areas over here? Look at the difference. Now, look at the OEM light and where it is. You see the line at the bottom? Look at where the focused beams of the auxiliary lights are. You see where it is? Right there in the middle. So it's not blinding the other drivers. What they can see is light reflecting from the ground up, not the actual light itself. Once again, do you see where they are? Right in the center of the actual OEM light. That's how I position them. And the DRLs give you this flood effect to your peripherals, to the left as well as to the right. And that way you have much better visibility at night now if we combine this with the actual high beam do you see that up there it does make a difference when you're riding and we're going to be doing some testing out on the highway so you can see in the real world what it actually looks like and what difference it makes okay i'm going to turn into a uh, dark road so you guys can see what the oem light does do you see that now look at the difference Do you see what a difference that is? Look what you actually can see with these lights on. And look now. What you can see now is the OEM light. And these are the auxiliary lights. Once again. see the difference I hope you guys found this video useful I plan on doing an overview video in the future regarding the lights and how I was able to set it up if there's enough interest if you guys like something like this or want to know let me know in the comments if you guys want me to do an install video it's extensive it's gonna take quite some time but if there is enough interest yeah, I'd love to make it if it's going to have someone out. Remember, this is a safety item. Invest in your safety. Have a great day, guys.